you should always, always, at least in the start of these games, try to find a setup that can just kill all of this crucible of fire. <laughs> Hello and welcome my fellow rascal to the second episode of Soul Heroes. Uh, the new game that I'm playing uh, at the moment, I'm kind of skipping the two the other games, Summoner's War. Um, pick, uh, mostly because I just love this game. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So, welcome back. Um, this is the second episode. It is the third day of me playing this game. So if you don't already play this game and if you enjoy this video, you should really start playing it. I'm on the server 417 Arendelle 2. Uh, hook me up if you want to play together. We can uh, start a guild. We can do some amazing arena runs together. Um, and just in enjoy this uh, gameplay together. Make some s strategies. Um, kill some heroes, do some event, do some raiding together and that will be uh, so much fun I think. So uh, it's a new day, the servers just kind of... Uh, what what do they do? They don't restart, they... yeah I, I think they restart... Um, I, I think I could call it that. Uh, restart uh, once a day so you can kind of start farming all the things again and so on. And that's what they did. So let's, uh, yesterday I did the, um, what's it called, this crucible of fire. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to, to kill it. So I only got to round 11, which is really bad. You should always, always, at least in the start of these games, try to find a setup that can just kill all of this crucible of fire. Because that's something that will give you an immense amount of money, gold, gems, uh, new heroes, all that stuff you want so you can progress in the arena uh, or the other places. Uh, and take my word on it, you really want to optimize to being able to make the crucible of fire in the start. You can always do the campaign, you can always do the arena, although starting on a new server, uh, if you want to do really, really good uh, and if you want to farm efficiently, um, making a good arena team can be really beneficial for you right now i'm rank four i have been ranked two unfortunately uh, i don't have the the lineup that really uh, that's really strong right now so even though you can see my rating of my power uh, being 9379 being higher than the current rank one i will not be able to to defeat him um i have them powered up i have them leveled up but he's just greater than me, he's higher level and level really does make uh, a lot of difference in the arena because some of my abilities just won't hit his guys. So for instance, my Gale is uh, level 40, his, his um, enemies are level 42 and my Gale might just not hit my silence on his, on his guys. So, uh, and that can that can really be the difference between winning and losing, especially if, if your guy doesn't hit your spells or, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it makes sense for you guys as well. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's start uh, farming some of this. Uh, and this is a new series. So before I start, I have a lot to say and I'm sorry about that. Um, but this is, I want to make this an informative uh, channel channel and uh, I want us to play together I want us to learn together I want you guys to learn a lot from this channel uh, me analyzing the game uh, and so forth but um, yeah so um, yeah so I'm, I'm sorry about that but uh, I, I just want to I, I kind of I'm just rambling right now so I just want to start farming i just want to start doing all the things in this game so right now we can't do any raid guild raids so i'm just going to focus on leveling up uh, and the way i do that is by the campaign using a lot of uh, these food up here um so maybe i should 
I'm in chapter six and chapter four elite. Maybe I should try to do, actually I should just farm some of the, um, some of the stones. Then you can see where you can farm them. Some of them you can farm right here, for instance. I wanna farm this guy just to kind of, what's it called, level him up, get him uh, to higher star, give him higher value. Uh, so I just want to do that a couple of times. Two times should be enough. Uh, let's just see what it costs actually to do it one more time. It is 50, we don't want to do that. So we really want to be smart about our gems, even though I uh, bought some. Um, we don't want to waste it on everything or anything other than the heroes we really like. This is also a hero I really like. Um, and I'm completely new to this game. So, so don't take my word as an expert in this particular game. Although I have been playing a hero's charge, which is a lot like this. It's uh, pretty much the same guy game. Uh, it has a bit different uh, heroes and different kind of abilities, different gear and such, but it's really close to being the, the same game. So we just leveled up. That means I can do this and I want to do I want uh, I want to mine for coins right now. That's what I'm low on. And let's just uh, let's just do a large one, right? So don't think it matters that much. I can't really remember. Uh, confirm all guildmates. Confirm all guildmates. All right. So when they get high enough, they can uh, start plundering with me. Get some. Uh, let's see. We want to plunder, don't we? We have thirty out of thirty bread. So. So do you want to? Raiding. Yeah, we, we, we want to kill this guy. Sure. So this is my current setup. It's kind of like my arena setup. So this, unlike the arena, I it's not auto attack. Uh, so I can actually use the abilities as I like, as I deem uh, the most beneficial. Uh, so for instance, right here, I want to do this spell that might not be the best actually. <laughs> <laughs> so even though it's not on auto, I, I kind of fucked up. So let's just finish this off. It seems pretty easy. This is something that uh, I'm probably not gonna do more of, um, at least in, in this video. Um, so you can see I get a lot of gems. I can search again. It costs a little bit of money, but potentially I can gain a lot of money uh, by defeating these so definitely something you want to you want to farm as well especially if you have the time and want to progress as efficiently as possible uh, but what i wanted to say is this is not something i want to feature in this video uh, i just unlocked it so i figured we might as well just see uh, what it is all about together you can kind of get a feeling of it if you're new to this game and I'm telling you, if you if you haven't played this game or Heroes Charge or games like this, but you like the kind of uh, farming game, uh, action games, uh, strategy games, you would love this game. It has a lot of features for you to to kind of use. Uh, not the features you can use, but to features you would like, I guess. So something I don't like is my event keeps being red. Uh, like there's something I should uh, collect or something I should know, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, this is a this is a new channel. We right now we're gonna focus on this game. So guys, please let me know if there is anything that you would uh, like. Let me see. Okay, we want to take the one in the middle, right? So yeah, if there's anything you would like me to to 
to feature in the coming video so i'm probably gonna do one video a day or something like that and maybe a bit less it depends on my time i got work as well uh, but i really want to grow this uh, youtube channel with you guys and play this game um so if there's something you want to know something you want my opinion about uh, spotlight videos on certain heroes my opinions about them uh, please tell me and i will definitely do them in the future um, if you enjoyed this uh, video if you enjoyed this game please leave a like and a comment saying why you like them um, if not please leave a comment as well uh, saying what I can do better, what you think uh, my focus should be on and so forth. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, the video of today. I'm just going to keep farming uh, using all my points today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, see you guys. Bye.